happens next week. Next week we got we got like a therapy guy. I didn't really reach out to him, but he wanted to be on the pod, and he seemed kind of interesting. It'll yeah, be interesting. Some stuff to get off my chest. It's gonna be interesting. That'd be dope though. If you, I mean, like, what's the, uh, what's uh, what's some what's some some emotional stuff we could think of? Had to be emotional. Like, hey, uh, why don't men like to go to therapy? That's a good question. Yeah, Solid question. We can we can dive into that. Okay. 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 Be like, hey, uh. I want to go to therapy, but if my homies are going to make fun of me, um, mm. what's another thing I can from? do short of suicide that will help that me? Where does that come from? You know, It just comes from, you know, just the, the masculine urge to be macho and have it all together. Sure, sure, sure. But sometimes, doesn't, sometimes doesn't, I just want to hug, you know? Doesn't being so powerful that you walk into therapy and have no pre-reservations make you more powerful? Have no pre-reservations? Of like, oh, I don't... Saying I I need to to talk to some people about some emotions doesn't that make you more macho because you did it? I yeah I guess so. Heck yeah, dude! And that's why we're having this therapy. I forget his name, but I'll see you right now. I guess so. Uh, his name's well, Sam just, Led. You you're just raised and like your entire life, your parents were like, therapy's for locos. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like, you, you, you're freaking crazy dude what you freaking need crazy you know just pray about it dude, dude just, no just no son of mine is gonna go to some kind of mental couch hospital fucking someone on tiktok was like therapy should be free and the comments were like yo these people gotta like sit through <laughs> all these issues and you want them to do it for free just, that's fuck a, off a, plus the, like tax. eight years of school you gotta go to Bro, I could probably out therapize somebody that has gone to eight school, eight years of school for therapy. Oh, you think so? I think so, so man. So if so I came to you and I just, just talked talk. about how my uncle's been molesting me for fifteen years, and yeah. because of it, I can't like connect with anybody. Like, no, I I'm just super anxious all the time. You tell me how to deal with that. I mean, yeah, man. It all just goes back to push-ups in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> just get two meals a day in at least. You just okay. You gotta you know walk it off. Okay. All right, maybe there's a little more planning into it <laughs> than just listening and being like, hey, man, you just got to have positive thoughts in the present. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I think, it, think it's a lot deeper than that. There's a little more protocol, but that's what it goes back to, you know? I think it's, honestly, I think that's a, a gross oversimplification <laughs> of some of the issues that people deal with. Oh, just think positive, though. Maybe, maybe it, it goes back to my, uh, my blind spot for uh, other people's scenarios. <laughs> I swear, I was in that, I was in that, it was really like eye opening, and it was like, "What, dude?" When I was in that ladies' night thing, and it's not just to pinpoint it on females, it's just people who are non tech savvy. But they're like, "Yeah, it was. It's just not intuitive." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, it's not intuitive for people." <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But also like, yeah, and some other people said it was a, it was a, a dude that said said in response to basically, which you know neither here nor there. But it was like, well, you gotta research. <laughs> Like you gotta read, yeah. Like, like at some point, like you just gotta read. <laughs> That's what yeah, it boils down to. Dude, people, don't, people just don't want to do it, dude. Like I, I, I made a TikTok talking about Web three, and then somebody made a comment. They were like, "Oh, so the money, the staking, and the money is just going gonna go back into the powerful hands like it is now." And I commented, "Yeah, but." The fact that you're watching this right now is an opportunity for you to like go research and learn and invest in something. And then the guy commented, "Nah, I'm good." So, all right. So you got, oh god. Yeah. Uh, but that's the people. thing too of of people talking about like, were you aware that uh, the Constitution DAO? Yeah. No. So there there was a DAO that's really interesting. You should go deep into it because it's an interesting DAO and it goes to different places. A DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. Where people vote on things it's pretty basically like pure democracy <laughs> besides money things kind of um but sotheby's was auctioning like a copy of the constitution or something um or the constitution i don't know and they were pulling together money to buy it <clears throat> and this this uh i think he was a banker but this guy it was a uh, i think it was like 38 mil perhaps and, they, and he just outbid them right and he's probably just like a fiat guy he's probably a some some banker right and and people like are that's what people don't like 
in certain sects and sectors of like life and, and crypto community. But I'm not like against that. Yeah. Like it also is it's what the it same, is. It's the same People but it's different. It. You know? It's it's same what? It's the same but it's different. Sure. It's, I, I, yeah, I okay. agree. Capitalism like what America has now is a very it's like a just a, a guarded capitalism. <laughs> it's not it's not very free and it's very it's based on credit and and that's what happens with a, a third stage of a money that's fiat. <laughs> and but like people are very anti that. And I'm also kind of scared like and and this is a, a lot of people do enjoy this in crypto, but like it's also a like pretty direct attack on America's stake of money in the world and uh, that uh, shakes me a little bit it's kind of like uh how do I explain it it's like you keep the good parts of capitalism like you know the voting and the opportunity to like be a part of something bigger and then like a lot of the shitty parts like the secret control, the government influence are like kind of not there. You know, kind of. But yes. But you know, there, not there's everything a, we're talking about right now is speculation. There's a really cool Charles Hoskinson clip when he was on the Lex Freeman podcast talking about evolving incentives of capitalism, uh, where right now it's very short term and individual based. And if you skew that towards the long term, long term, propping things up in the future and balancing that with short term, you have an overall better world. And he says that crypto is kind of the, the only way to do that, um, which is interesting. I do think you have to evolve incentives a little bit towards long term because people just don't think about most things long term, even with like a government like. A government like China, which seems like very long term plans, but like climate stuff is not there for them. So that's like, you know, a thing. But it's easy. Someone said, some rich guy said, <laughs> poor people think short term, rich people think long term. Yeah. I also think that's, think. I also think that's kind of baked into like American society because a lot of people wanted to make factory workers. And I think, especially with people, maybe more so, and maybe not with crypto at all, but like people propping up long-term stuff. And like, that's how, <laughs> that's how the, the incumbent like wealth of bankers and, and finance and real estate innately think they think long-term. So that quote unquote underbelly that is now more and more and more accessible to people via the internet and some good personalities on the internet. I think should want people to change that um, because that, is, the short term just isn't, it's not worth that. It is kind of hard to think long term if you're living paycheck to paycheck. It is. So give them that. Some guy was like a trick to help with that. Is to try to think in quarters instead of weeks and months. Mm. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Just doing that, dude. That would change your mind. But yeah, that's always a thing too. But that's that's also, like I said, baked into what at least america i'm not sure other societies um but to keep that rat wheel going for middle class to to be buying things and and, and working on things um i guess using credit dude. it's really weird to me man like i wasn't super up on like just the theory of credit until like maybe college-ish and not, not, not even like the like the interact like the tech stuff just literally buying things on credit and I just, I had never had a credit card, so the thought wasn't in my mind. But when credit was in my mind, I was like, okay, I, I don't have this money. Like, why would I buy something that I can't afford? Yeah. And other people would be like, all right, this is free money. I'm going to go buy things I can't afford. Yeah. On a retail that, thing. I'm sure there's like, you know, real estate and all uh, that. But. When I, because when I first got a credit card, that's how I thought. I thought. Oh, a thousand bucks free money yeah. for show, dude. 
And then my dad was like, yo, what the hell are you doing, son? Why is your credit score zero? <laughs> but <laughs> no one like, ever no one ever taught me that, I don't think. I yeah, just like, like nobody like I feel like most people don't know. They don't teach me in school. Yeah. Like you kinda gotta get lucky to meet someone that'll like tell you. And honestly, I preached to all my friends. None of them listen. So I'm sure people here they just don't care. But like I'm thinking there has to be someone that at least like said to me, or maybe I just like looked up what credit was, or someone explained it perhaps, but like it's pretty like I think it like you don't know that's not money, my guy. <laughs> that but that what's also funny is though, in, in America fiat, that is literally creating money. When you realize that like every well, you look around and you think, wow, most things around that I look at, all this real estate, all these businesses were created with credit, with leverage, yeah, yeah. then you're you're like, okay, like then it starts to make sense because nobody's going to reach into your pocket and like build a building. You know, they're going to fucking leverage it somehow. Even if they have the money, you know, they're just going to mm -hmm. get a loan to raise their credit so that they can do it again in the future. Bring in other people's money. Don't even touch theirs. That creates more wealth. It's literally how people. money is created, which it's is like, a it's, big it's, it's, it's a It's a lame. Now that I like, because I don't have a lot of money, but now that I like know all this stuff and I'm like, okay, now I can create a blueprint. I'm I'm never like I'm gonna be poor. You know, if I run out of money, I I'll just hopefully like I'm healthy enough to work and shit. I'll just work, save up, and then fucking invest, build a business, whatever, have a plan. But I'm never gonna be in the mindset where I'm like living paycheck to paycheck look like I was like two, three years ago. You know? I think that's just like a knowledge wall people that are thinking of that and, and i don't know I've, other people have different scenarios but i think if people have knowledge of stuff and like you said that language then that it at least shoves like a degree off from what on the track that they're seemingly stuck on because like you kind of you, you kind of feel like oh dude i'm stuck but if you have knowledge of different paths 50 bucks a month a week you can put into something else at least it makes you feel somewhat good <laughs> at least it gives you a little like proverbial carrot delaying gratification is good too yeah yeah you just you know you come to my therapy class that's all i'll say you know like, sure you got molested really but like happy ending today or can it wait <laughs> pleasure myself at home for free <laughs> that's what i'm saying that too i think i think uh some of my like family is innately like uh, frugal and like stingy so i think that some of that has been part of my delete gratification stuff but like i've like kind of skewed that in my own thing of just like i don't need that <laughs> yeah that's, that's kind of been my mindset for a little but i also have to skew with the frugality a little bit towards return it's not it's not a crippling frugality but just you know 